So tell me what, what was weird about Antarctica. There's nothing there. I want to talk about Antarctica. Mm hmm because I think this is going to be the new obsession. I feel like it's trending super high. Antarctica, a land of ice and mystery, holds many secrets waiting to be unearthed. From celestial meteorites to hidden caves beneath its glaciers, Antarctica holds a wealth of extraordinary stories. Researchers frequently feel a chilling presence as they navigate its icy terrain, heightening the sense of mystery. Exploring the mysteries of Antarctica has the potential to transform our understanding of this cryptic continent. Join us as we reveal the top secrets of Antarctica and venture into uncharted territory. The Desperate Chase for Alien Rocks In Antarctica's faraway, frosty land, there's a place like no other on Earth. It's a vast, frozen world where the ground is covered with frost and the air is very cold and dry. This unique place keeps everything very well preserved, including meteorites. Meteorites are pieces of rock from outer space that crash into the Earth. Antarctica has thousands of these space rocks scattered all over its cold, barren landscapes. Because it's so dry and cold, these meteorites don't get worn down by weather like they would in other places. This makes Antarctica the best spot in the world to find and study meteorites. Among all these space rocks, one special meteorite stands out. It's called Allen Hills 84001, and it was named after the place where it was found in Antarctica. This black, palm-sized rock from space was found by accident in 1984, stuck in the ice near a group of hills known as Allen Hills. This discovery was a huge surprise during an ordinary research trip by scientists exploring the icy continent. When they took a closer look at this particular meteorite, they noticed something very unusual. Unlike most other meteorites, Allen Hills 84001 looked a lot like the dirt from the planet Mars, based on what NASA's Viking landers had found on Mars before. Scientists thought that maybe, a long, long time ago, a big space rock hit Mars and sent this piece of Mars flying all the way to Earth, where it eventually landed in Antarctica. What made Allen Hills 84001 even more interesting was what scientists found inside it in the 1990s. They saw tiny shapes and bits that might come from living things, trapped inside the meteorite. This was very exciting because it could mean that there once was life on Mars. However, not everyone agrees on this. Some scientists say yes, while others say we need more proof. But the very idea that we might find signs of life from another planet in a rock found in Antarctica is fascinating, and has sparked lots of debates. Another amazing meteorite story from Antarctica is about a space rock called Fukang. This one was found in the year 2000. It's a huge meteorite, weighing over 1,300 pounds, and it's incredibly beautiful. The Fukang meteorite is special because it's filled with shiny yellow crystals known as olivine. These crystals make the meteorite look like it's filled with tiny, sparkling stars. Just like Allen Hills 84001, the Fukang meteorite came from space. Scientists believe it broke off from an asteroid that was floating between Mars and Jupiter. The Fukang meteorite is another example of the incredible natural wonders that come from beyond our Earth. Now, let's move from stars to personal stories, finding connections in Antarctica's frosty world. Antarctica's Time Capsule Wallet In relation to this story, we can delve into another story about the icy world of Antarctica. It's about a man named Paul Grisham and his lost wallet. More than 50 years ago, in the 1960s, Paul Grisham was a weatherman for the Navy, working in a cold, remote place called McMurdo Station in Antarctica. Antarctica is a tough place to live, with lots of frost and snow and very few people. Grisham spent a year there, from 1967 to 1968, studying the weather. During his time at McMurdo Station, Grisham had a wallet, just like anyone else might carry. But one day, he lost it. He didn't know where it went. The wallet ended up stuck behind a locker, hiding there, forgotten, in the cold. Because Antarctica is so cold and dry, the wallet stayed just like it was, without getting ruined, for a very long time. Years went by. More than 45 years later, in 2014, some workers were tearing down an old building at McMurdo Station. They were taking apart everything, and then, in a small gap behind a locker, they found an old leather wallet. It was Paul Grisham's wallet, 
still intact after all those years. Inside the wallet, there were many things from Grisham's past. His Navy identification card, a card that showed he was allowed to get beer, receipts showing money he sent to his wife, and other personal items. Finding the owner of this old wallet was not going to be easy. A retired Air Force veteran named Stephen Deo decided to take on this challenge. He wanted to return the wallet to its rightful owner, even if it took a long time. Deo worked hard, searching for clues and talking to many people. Finally, after six long years, he found Paul Grisham in 2020. Grisham was now 91 years old and could hardly believe that his wallet had been found after all these years. Next, we dig into the Frosty to find stories of nature that have lasted for ages. Icy Graves of a Penguin Past In 2016, a group of scientists exploring Antarctica's cold, snowy world stumbled upon something amazing. They found an old penguin graveyard at a place called Cape Izar, which is a bit south of a large frosty area. This wasn't just any ordinary place. It was filled with very old penguin bodies that had turned into mummies all preserved by the cold, dry air. The scientists started to dig into the ground and found not just one or two, but many layers of penguin remains. Some bones had turned into fossils and some bodies that, despite being very old, still looked like they had not decayed much. The scientists used a method called radiocarbon dating to find out how old these penguin remains were. They discovered that this spot had been a home where penguins came to lay their eggs and raise their young not once, but at least three times stretching back over 5,000 years. The most recent time penguins lived there was about 800 years ago, which was probably when it started to snow more because of a period called the Little Ice Age. Before this snowy time, the weather was better for the penguins to have their babies, especially about 5,000 years ago. The place where all these penguins lived and died, known as the Dry Valley, helped keep these penguin mummies well-preserved because it's so cold and dry. The different conditions of the mummified penguins showed how the climate changed over time, with some periods being colder and snowier than others. This penguin graveyard gives us a rare look into the past, showing how the penguins living in Antarctica changed their lives to deal with the changing weather over thousands of years. Leaving the frost behind, we dive deep to meet one of Antarctica's biggest sea mysteries. Exploring the depths for giant squids. The colossal squid is a huge sea creature that is very hard to find. It's so rare that people have only seen it a few times. In the year 2022, a group called Colossal, along with some sea animal experts and companies that take tourists to cold places, started a big project. Their mission was to find and learn more about these giant squids in their home near Antarctica. They want to do this before the year 2025. Colossal squids can be longer than a school bus and are the biggest animals without a backbone in the whole world. They live deep underwater, more than 6,000 feet down, where it's very dark and cold. The team going on this adventure will use special cameras and lights to see these giant squids up close in their dark, deep home. They want to understand how these squids look, see, find their food, and live. We don't know many things about colossal squids, like how they use their huge eyes that are as big as basketballs and whether they can glow in the dark. By learning more about these big squids, the scientists hope to understand more about life deep in the sea and how these giant animals fit into the food chain there. The year 2025 is special because it will be 100 years since the first time a colossal squid was found. The scientists on this mission want to celebrate this by discovering new things about this mysterious and giant sea creature. They hope their work will teach us more about how these squids and other deep sea animals can grow so big and how they live in such a strange, hidden part of the world. Coming up from the deep, we discover a hidden city under the ice, full of life and surprises. The fish with no red blood. In 2021, a group of scientists went on an adventure to explore a part of Antarctica called the Weddell Sea. This place is very cold and covered with ice. During their exploration, they found something amazing. They discovered a special place where a very unusual type of fish lives. This fish is called the ice fish, one of the world's strangest fish. What makes the ice fish so different is that it has clear blood. It doesn't have hemoglobin, which makes blood red 
and carries oxygen around the body in most animals. But the ice fish has adapted, or changed over time, to live without it. This adaptation allows the ice fish to survive in the freezing cold waters of Antarctica. While the scientists were mapping or drawing a map of the bottom of the sea, they found something they didn't expect. They came across a huge area where ice fish were laying their eggs. This place was like a giant nursery for ice fish. The scientists saw that the nursery covered 149 square miles of the ocean floor. That's as big as a whole country called Malta. In this huge area, there were nests everywhere. Each nest had up to 2,500 eggs, and one adult ice fish were watching over each set of eggs. When the scientists counted all the nests, they found there were more than 60 million of them. This was one of the biggest groups of animals anyone had ever found. This giant community of ice fish is very important for the area where they live, near the Weddell Sea. Lots of animals depend on this ice fish colony for food, including a type of seal called the Weddell Seal. Almost all of these seals, about 90% of them, were seen hunting for food within this huge ice fish nursery. This discovery was a big deal for the scientists. Before they found this ice fish city, no one knew there were so many ice fish in this area. This new information helps everyone understand more about the food chain in the Weddell Sea. The food chain is like a big network that shows who eats whom in nature. Now, let's go from bustling life to hidden deep places, exploring Antarctica's deepest secrets, the underwater world's deepest corner. Our world keeps surprising us with its natural wonders. In the year 2019, a group of adventurers exploring the sea's bottom near Antarctica found the deepest place on Earth's surface, named the Factorin Deep. This huge hole goes down 24,400 feet, deeper than any other part of the ocean. It's located at the bottom of the South Sandwich Trench, which is near Antarctica. To find out how deep this place really is, the team used special underwater robots, one called the Limiting Factor, because of the tough conditions down there. They used sonar, a way to map the ocean by sound, over 1,200 times, to make the first complete map of this part of the sea's floor. They discovered that the trench was a long crack, 1970 feet long, on the ocean's bottom, made by the moving apart of two big pieces of the Earth's crust. This trench lies between South America and Antarctica, and finding the factor in deep has taught us more about the geography under Antarctica's waters. It also shows us that we have a lot to learn about the ocean's bottom. There are big projects like Seabed 2030, that plan to map all of the ocean floor in the next few years. As they explore more, they might find even more hidden places in the deep, dark parts of the sea near Antarctica. From deep secrets to tiny life, we look at the small plants that keep the frosty world alive. The hidden gardens of frozen waters. Antarctica is really cold and mostly covered with ice, but in the water around the coast, tiny plants called phytoplankton are growing surprisingly well. Before, People thought the frost was too thick for anything to grow because it blocked the sunlight. But new tools and studies, like robots under the water and satellites in space, have shown us something different. They've found that there are cracks in the frost where sunlight gets through, and the phytoplankton use this light to grow. They spread out on the water's surface, where the frost has melted and create large areas filled with life, similar to fields of grass on land. These tiny ocean plants are very important because they feed everything in the sea around them, from small creatures like krill to big animals like whales and seals. By understanding how phytoplankton live in such cold, icy conditions, scientists are learning more about how life can survive in really harsh places. Now, from living plants to hidden places, we explore Antarctica's secret and silent areas, the enigma of the emperor's domain. Antarctica has a mysterious area called the Forbidden Sector, where only certain people are allowed to go. This place has led to a lot of wild guesses and stories. The official reason for this area's existence is to keep emperor penguins safe during their breeding season. But because the information about this place is so limited, many people think there might be secret activities happening there. Some of the theories include hidden military bases, studies of outer space beings, and searches for ancient lost cities under the ice. Although these ideas are exciting, 
The governments involved deny them and don't give out more details. The forbidden sector's location, far away from where most people stay in Antarctica, makes these mysteries even more intriguing. For now, whatever is happening in this off-limits area of Antarctica remains a secret. Looking under the ice, we find ancient lakes full of secrets from the past. Lost lakes under frozen peaks. Beneath the cold, frosty surface of Antarctica, there's a hidden world. Scientists have found about 400 lakes under the ice, completely dark and cut off from the outside world. One of the biggest is Lake Vostok, which is as large as Lake Ontario, but under 2.5 miles of ice. Long ago, when Antarctica was warmer, these lakes were above ground. But as the continent froze over, the lakes got trapped under the ice. Despite the cold, the heavy frost above keeps the water in these lakes from freezing. These hidden lakes might have strange life forms that have lived in isolation for a long time. By studying these lakes, scientists hope to learn more about the history of Antarctica and the possibility of life in extreme conditions. They believe there might be even more lakes under the ice, maybe over a thousand. What else is hidden under Antarctica's frost is a big question, with most of the continent still unexplored. From old lakes to a modern mystery, we dive into a story of danger and unanswered questions in the cold. A dark puzzle in the frozen south. In the year 2000, a sad and strange event happened in Antarctica. An Australian scientist named Rodney Marks went to the South Pole to do research. He had done this kind of work before and knew a lot about the stars and space. But during the dark and cold winter, something terrible happened. Rodney, who was only 32 years old, got very sick all of a sudden. In just a few hours, he went from being okay to very ill, and then he died. People were shocked because it happened so fast. When doctors looked at Rodney's body, they found something very unusual. There was a lot of methanol in his system. Methanol is a kind of poison that you can find in some chemicals used for cleaning or in science labs. It's not something you would usually drink, especially not in large amounts. This made people think that Rodney did not drink this poison by accident, but no one knew how it got into his body. He didn't seem to have any reason to drink it himself, and there was no clear way he could have gotten poisoned. Because Rodney's death was so mysterious and happened in such an unusual place, the police decided to investigate. It was the first time anything like this had ever happened in Antarctica, so it was a big deal. The investigation was difficult because Antarctica is so far from other places, and the weather is very harsh. The police from New Zealand helped, but even with their experience, they found it hard to get clear answers. They talked to many people and looked at all the evidence, but in the end, they couldn't figure out what really happened. In 2007, they had to stop looking into the case because there was not enough evidence to keep going. Rodney's family and friends were left with a lot of questions and sadness. Even now, many years later, People still wonder about what happened to Rodney Marks. Did someone hurt him, or was it a strange accident? We might never know the truth, and Rodney's story has become one of the most mysterious tales from the frosty world of Antarctica. Now, we move from mysteries to finding a piece of the past, a sweet reminder of old adventures, the Antarctic fruitcake. Imagine finding a cake that is 100 years old and still looks good enough to eat. That's exactly what happened in Antarctica in 2017. Some people who were working to take care of old buildings there found a fruitcake. It was not just any fruitcake, but one that had been left behind by a famous explorer named Robert Falcon Scott in 1911. This cake was sitting on a shelf, still wrapped up in paper, in a hut at Cape Adair. Now, finding old things in Antarctica is not always surprising because it's so cold that things don't rot or fall apart like they would in warmer places. But this cake was special. It was made a long time ago for a big trip to explore the frosty lands, and somehow, it got left behind. When the people found it, they noticed that it still had a fruity smell and was tough, more like leather than the fluffy cakes we are used to. Even though it looked okay, no one tried to eat the cake. It's very old and there are rules about keeping historical things safe and not damaging them. Instead, they decided to take the cake to a museum in New Zealand so that everyone could see it and learn about the history of exploring Antarctica. This cake, sitting all alone in the cold for so many years,
tells us a story about the brave people who went on long journeys to find out what was at the bottom of the world. From sweet memories to natural wonders, let's see the mysterious giant holes that appear in the ice. Secrets of the Sunlit Arctic Hole In 2017, something really big and unexpected appeared in the sea ice around Antarctica. It was a huge hole, bigger than many cities, and it was filled with open water instead of ice. People call this kind of hole a polynia. This particular one is known as the Maud Rise Polynia, and it's not the first time it has appeared. It also showed up in the 1970s, then disappeared for a long time, and now it's back again. Scientists are really interested in this hole because it's not supposed to be there all the time. They think it happens when warm water from deep in the ocean comes up to the top and melts the ice. This is interesting but also confusing because it doesn't happen every year, and no one is sure why it comes and goes like it does. These open holes in the ice are important for the ocean because they let sunlight and air get into the water, which helps tiny plants in the sea called phytoplankton grow. These plants are very important because they feed a lot of other animals in the ocean. Researchers are trying to understand why the Polynia appears and what it means for the future, especially as the climate changes. They think that what happens in these holes could tell us a lot about how the ice and the ocean work together and what might happen to Antarctica in the coming years. Leaving nature's wonders, we explore ancient and strange shapes under the ice, full of secrets. Secrets of the Ancient Frozen Monolith A fascinating find in Antarctica is stirring conversations and could change our understanding of history. Some people have long believed that there are old pyramids hidden under the ice in Antarctica, similar to the ones in Egypt. In 2016, something exciting happened. Satellite pictures showed a structure that looked very much like a pyramid, with a sharp, angled shape buried under the ice. This structure is really tall, more than 900 feet, which makes it taller than any pyramid in Egypt. This strange pyramid shape was found in a place called the Ellsworth Mountains, which are very far from the sea and hard to reach. This makes some people wonder if it was made by humans long ago, or if it has another explanation. There are a lot of different ideas. Some think it might be the work of ancient civilizations that we didn't know lived in Antarctica, or maybe even something built by aliens. But most scientists think there is a simpler explanation. They believe the pyramid shape was made naturally, by the wind and ice sculpting the rock over millions of years. However, the mystery of this structure makes many people curious. If it was made by someone or something, what else might be hidden inside or around it? The idea of finding clues about who made it or why it's there is very exciting. For now, this big frosty pyramid in Antarctica keeps everyone guessing, mixing history, nature, and mystery all in one. From ancient shapes to old life, we go back in time to when giant creatures lived in Antarctica. The giant egg from the darkest seas. A huge discovery surprised scientists in Antarctica in 2000. They found a fossilized egg that was really big, more than 11 inches long. They named it The Thing, and it turned out to be about 66 million years old. This egg wasn't just large, it was the biggest one ever found in Antarctica. It took a while, but eventually, scientists figured out that it probably came from a massive sea lizard known as a mosasaur. Mosasaurs were huge creatures that lived in the ocean a long time ago, around the same time as the dinosaurs. They were very big, some longer than 50 feet, and they ate a lot of other sea creatures. Scientists think that these mosasaurs had a special way of laying their eggs. Unlike many reptiles, they might have gone onto the beach to lay their eggs, just like sea turtles do today. Then, they would quickly get their babies into the water to keep them safe from land predators like the T-Rex. Finding this egg in Antarctica helps scientists understand more about how these giant animals lived and took care of their young. It's like a peek into the past, showing a time when the now frosty continent was a place where huge marine reptiles could live and raise their families. The discovery of the thing is just the beginning. Antarctica is full of fossils and secrets from the past, waiting for scientists to find and tell their stories. From giant creatures to ancient travelers, we explore the idea that explorers long ago knew this icy place. The ancient path to the frosty south new evidence 
is shaking up what we thought we knew about who first discovered Antarctica. For a long time, people believed that the first to see Antarctica were European explorers in the 1800s. But there's a new theory that suggests Polynesian voyagers, skilled in navigating vast oceans, might have reached the frosty waters of Antarctica centuries before. There are old stories from the Maori people, the indigenous Polynesians of New Zealand, about a chief named Yu Rangiora. He is said to have traveled far to the south around 1,300 years ago. When he came back, he told stories of a cold, frosty place with huge frost formations. Some historians think these stories could mean that Polynesians like Yu Rangiora might have seen the edges of Antarctica long before Europeans. If this is true, it would mean that these incredible sailors, who explored much of the Pacific Ocean using the stars and the sea to guide them, also reached one of the most remote places on Earth. This would add a whole new chapter to the history of exploration, showing that the Polynesians' incredible journeys took them even farther than we thought. Going even further back, we unlock secrets from the deep past, hidden under the sea. A million-year-old genetic puzzle. In a groundbreaking scientific find, a team has dug up DNA that is one million years old from under the sea around Antarctica. This very old genetic code lets us peek into the kinds of sea creatures that lived in Antarctica over a million years ago. They found this old DNA in mud from the bottom of the sea in the Scotia Sea area of Antarctica, deeper than 584 feet. This DNA is much older than any other DNA we've found before. The next oldest DNA is 800,000 years younger. The DNA came from tiny living things in the sea that we call microbial eukaryotes, and they were swimming around during a time called the Middle Pliocene. The reason this DNA has lasted so long is that Antarctica is a great place for keeping things cold and unchanged. The super cold temperatures and the way the mud builds up very slowly over time help keep old stuff from falling apart. Scientists say that every tiny piece of this old material can tell us a story from a long time ago. This exciting find shows us that Antarctica might have many more secrets hidden in its ice and mud, waiting to be found. As we get better at looking under the frost and digging deeper, scientists hope to find even older life forms, like mosses, that are 40 million years old. Antarctica is like a big freezer, holding pieces of the past that we can learn from. This frozen land may have many more stories from the old days hidden, just waiting for us to discover them. From deep past to a strange sight, we look at the blood falls and learn why they're red. The Iron Tears of Taylor Glacier. Blood Falls is a weird place in Antarctica's McMurdo Dry Valleys. It's a waterfall that looks like it's made of red blood, but it's not. This strange sight comes from the Taylor Glacier and flows into the cold Lake Bonnie. The waterfall's red color really stands out against the white ice around it and has puzzled scientists for a long time. People used to think the red color might come from tiny red plants, but it's too cold and dry for plants like that to grow there. So they thought of other ideas like iron in the water or special bacteria. Then in 2017, scientists used special radar tools to look inside the glacier. They found out that the red comes from very salty water full of iron from an old lake under the glacier. This water has been trapped for a really long time, getting saltier and saltier. It stays liquid even when it's very cold because of all the salt and iron. When this salty, iron-rich water gets out and touches air at Blood Falls, it turns red. Now, from Red Falls to unknown tracks, we explore mysterious marks that might tell us about space visitors. The Mystic Trail in the Frost Antarctica is known for mysterious stories, and in 2021, something new caught people's attention. Satellite pictures showed a strange, long ditch in the snow that looked unusual. It was about 200 feet wide and looked different from the snow around it. A Russian researcher thought it might be a sign of a UFO that crashed long ago. Some people think it's just a crack in the ice, but its shape and location are strange. It's away from areas where ice usually breaks, this has added to weird stories from the past, like strange lights in the sky and hidden objects found under the ice. There are old tales of finding flying saucer-like objects during scientific work. As the frost in Antarctica changes, who knows what might be found? Right now, these stories remain a mystery. Moving from space stories to ice secrets, 
we discover huge tunnels under the frosty that surprise scientists. Have these Antarctic discoveries left you intrigued? Or do they simply add more questions to the already mysterious South Pole narrative? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more.